Hi guys, my name is Stephanie. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. Um, I am going to do a pharmacist daughter haul. So let's just do this. Um, so first things first, y'all know the dealio. What am I drinking? Well, I am having some of this. This is Garrison Brothers. This is the honeydew. I've already talked about this. Oh, it's signed. Nice. I don't know if this is on every bottle, but that's kind of cool. I just saw that. Um, it's honey, it's fruity nice and sweet, super yummy. Um, still kind of warm out, actually kind of muggy, um, here in Northern California, we are getting kind of muggy because there is hurricane Hillary down past San Diego. And we're just getting kind of muggy right now. We might get some rain actually in the next few days, nothing crazy but we might get some rain. I'm okay with that. So, um, it's muggy. It's warm. I'm finally sitting down and this is what I am sipping on. What am I wearing today? You ask? Well, let me tell you, this is Sintra by Memo. Um, if you want something like Killian's love, don't be shy, that marshmallow sweetness, but you want it a little more bougie and you want it a little more grown up and instead of pink stilettos you want black stilettos with the red bottom this is what you're gonna this is what you're gonna wear so this one i had to take notes because there's a lot in here so your top notes are neroli petite grain so petite grain is actually an essential oil extracted from the leaves and the twigs of a bitter orange tree. Then you have red fruits and bergamot. Your middle notes are milk, orange blossom, resin, cinnamon, jasmine, and rose. And then your bottom notes are marshmallow, Madagascar vanilla, caramel, musk, and cedar. So it's got pretty much the same vibe as that really yummy sweetness. Um, that everyone loves from love. Don't be shy, but it's a little more, like I said, um, a little more grown up. I, I love this one. Um, it's just, it's still a beautiful, sweet, that orange blossom, that marshmallow. But I think that, um, the petite grain that from the orange bitters, the cedar and the musk really just help, um, make it a little more taken seriously. So that's what we have. I don't know why I keep bringing this up. Um, before we get started though, let me just say thank you to my new followers. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed. I will tell you that, um, I have struggled I keep seeing like my, my subscribers go here and then it drops and then it goes here. Granted, I know that remember, like I said, when I first started this wax channel before that I was a professional belly dancer and most of my followers were from the middle East and India. So I'm sure those people are getting on the channel and like, what the heck is going on here? I don't want to see that. So I'm sure that's probably what's going on. Um, but as I'm kind of doing some investigating with that, I have been unsubscribed from three or four channels multiple times. You guys, um, I know that I have had to subscribe to 
April the Wax Queen twice. I know I've had to um, Martha's for Martha from Martha's Fragrance Corner. I've had to resubscribe to her once. Charity Rose. I've had to subscribe to her three times. Um, so just make sure that you are <laughs> double checking um, all of that because it's just frustrating when I think I'm following someone and supporting someone and apparently I'm not again. Um, so I'm, you know, I just, I go through every now and then and just make sure it says subscribe. I think hitting that, the notification bell, I think that might help. I could be totally wrong. I don't know. I just like smelling good stuff. So anyways, you guys, this is my pre order from, I'm so excited from, um, pharmacist's daughter. Sorry, I got distracted looking at all the stuff in here. <laughs> and I'm, uh, all of these are loaves. I went in and I did loaves. So, um, my downstairs is big enough that, um, I need loaves. So let's, let me just pull out a bar and let's do this. So this is nail in the coffin. I do have one of these already. Did I bring my glasses mm -hmm. down here? Negative ghostwriter. I did not. Okay. Hold on. I will not be able to do this without my glasses. Talk amongst yourselves for like three seconds, maybe more than three. Oh, okay. And we're scooching. And we're scooching. Hi, welcome back. Okay. So this is espresso sugar cookie dough pie crust, zucchini bread, funnel cake, and toasted marshmallow. Nail in the coffin. Yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. This is a really pretty espresso. Um, it's, <laughs> it's like I just walked into a coffee shop. You know, like when you like first thing in the morning when you walk in or anytime and you just get that smell of those beans. Oh, so good. Um, that sugar cookie really helps just create the environment, in my opinion, of the um, of the coffee shop. And uh, it I mean, I know it says nail in the coffin, but I. I love this one. Um, I do have another full loaf, but I love this one so much. I needed another one. I mean, did I really? Yes, I needed another one. Yeah, this is really nice. Um, espresso, but you get the sweetness of the bakery to not make it. Um, it's, it's like you walked into a coffee shop, you guys. So you get, you get the sweetness of the bakery and you get the espresso. Um, so very pretty. Next one is Halloween cookies. Halloween cookies is pumpkin cookie crunch, vanilla bean, cinnamon, sugar, butter, vanilla waffle cone. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. So I'm getting the pumpkin. Um, but it's, it doesn't feel like a pumpkin crunch. It feels like, um, when I make pumpkin bread, it smells like that batter for pumpkin bread to me. Oh, I just, it makes me want to make pumpkin bread, but Mike's not home. I just, I don't know. <sighs> I lost my little fuzzy thing for my microphone. Hold on. I'm just doing great. 
the story of my life, you guys. I'm such a class. <laughs> and the funny thing is, is that when I used to belly dance, I used to like swords and everything else. Like I was on point, <laughs> but take the sword off my head and put regular clothes on me and I'm banging like I'm just I'm a mess. So uh, this smells to me like like the batter for the pumpkin bread. It is sweet. It is pumpkiny. It is bakery. It is bright. Um, it you're not. This is not heavy on any cinnamon or spice or anything like that. It is not. It is a sweet pumpkiny, pastry, delicioso. This is yummy. Very nice. And I don't know if I have did my usual buy two of everything. I'll find out. I cannot remember. All your cake. House blend sugar cookie, marshmallow fireside, warm vanilla, pound cake, and glazed donuts. It's not helping my pastry craving right now. It took everything I had to drive by crumble cookie and not walk in. And I have brownie mix. I want brownies, you guys. I have been craving pastry like crazy. And can we just talk about this real quick, you guys? I will be 51 in November. And my hair in the front is just thinning like crazy. So usually my parts on this side, and I noticed in the video that I did with Mike, I had this nice bright bulb spot. So I'm doing my part on the other side, but not crazy. But because I did that, I've got like hairs that are fighting to get, they're like, no, we want back on this side. And I'm like, no, I need you to cover the bulb spot. Anyways. Let's smell this. <laughs> oh, you guys. Oh, so, whoa. I just got like a flashback real quick. So when I very first moved out and started burning candles, the candles that I wanted in my apartment, my space that wasn't my parents or my mom's, um, because my mom's got a totally different note. She wants rose. Um, she wants clean. No, I want it to smell like a bakery in my house. This reminds me, like I got a flashback. I used to get all the time from Yankee Candle. Um, was it vanilla cookie? It was Christmas cookie. Um, there was like vanilla cupcake or something like that. Like every time I walked in, my mom, every time my mom would walk into my house or my apartment, she'd be like, are you making cookies? So that's what this reminds me of. This is so, what a fun memory. Oh my gosh. This is beautiful. So it's, it's slightly leaning because of this, um, probably the marshmallow fireside and the warm vanilla, almost, almost like vanilla bean Noel. It's like if it was one more ingredient, like if there was a musk in here, if there was sandalwood in here, it would be body care. However, it's, so fun. Um, this is not like this. I'm going to save for spring, summer. Um, when I want just a, I have a feeling that this is going to blow my roof off because it is strong right now. Um, so I'm going to let this sit until next spring, summer. I got Carolyn. Aw. Do you guys Carol? I don't Carol because I can't sing. Caroling. 
pumpkin pecan waffles, warm vanilla, sugar, sugared waffle cone, apple cider and donut or apple cider donuts. There we go. Um, I just got a notification. Well, not just. Um, so we live in Northern California. There is in Placerville, um, it's called Apple Hill and there's like a few um, farm stands all along there. And you can like, they each have like their, their own little zhuzh. Um, they, one of them had, is doing like a soft opening. It's too warm. Like when I go up to Apple Hill for like the pumpkins and the apples, well, the pumpkins aren't ready yet, but like the apples and stuff like that. I don't know. I, you know, I want to be in my, in my cute boots and a sweater and my cozies and you know what I mean? Like that's the vibe I want. So I think we're going to wait obviously till later till when it starts getting cooler. Um, but I'm excited for that. And they have great cider donuts. Can I just tell you that? Oh, neighbor's back out there again. I kid you not. He knows. Okay. Yes. For me, the first thing I pick up is the apple cider donut because that's the one that always scares me. Um, but it's so pretty. This is, I don't feel like I'm getting that tart apple and who knows maybe i'm coming around to apple maybe i just needed to start off slow probably not no one get your hopes up okay don't start sending me all apple stuff we're gonna slow down for a second but i think because i'm going into it slowly and this isn't just cider lane or apple cider this is cider donut because I'm picking up that bakery. I am picking up a little bit of um, pumpkin. I'm picking up the pumpkin and for sure, this is so nice. It's not heavy on the pumpkin pecan waffles, you guys. It is not sickly sweet. That cider donut um, brings it back. It's um, that cider donut and the pumpkin pecan waffle, they're holding hands and they're walking down cider lane with pumpkins surrounding them. Did that make sense? <laughs> ah, that's pretty. Okay. I mean, I could just sit here and smell this, but I'm sure that would be quite the boring video. So I won't put you through that. I mean, there might be people who might pay to watch me sniff wax, but if there is one, let me know because I need, I mean, this might, it might help fund my wax addiction. Okay. Next one. Good and rotten. So pumpkin peanut brittle, check. Zucchini bread, pumpkin sugar donuts. Ooh. Okay, I see what you're doing. This is quite delightful. That piece of hair, I swear to you, I swear. Oh, that's really pretty. I have to think, I have to get my thoughts in order here. So the pumpkin peanut brittle is not like Bath and Body Works, smack you in the face, pumpkin peanut brittle. Okay. But it's there. Um, it's there. The zucchini bread. 
is I think just part, just that bakery element. Cause I don't get zucchini. I don't get nachos. I think it's just the bread, the, the bakery part of the bread itself to just, um, be a key player in this. And then the pumpkin sugar donuts. Yeah, it's, um, it's all, it's, it's a beautiful pumpkin bakery donut with slight saltiness of the peanut brittle. I, I cannot wait to warm this up. I can't wait to warm this up. Mm, nice. All right. Um, I did not participate in the, um, the live that they did. I am, I am trying to be good. I have my, um, I'm going to look today at sassy girls list. There's a couple things that I really want. And if it's not on the list or if there's only like one or two things that I want, that's on the list out of. I have a few things, but if there's only like one or two, I'm not, I'm not going to participate. She's open every Friday. You guys, like, I'm just not going to, but, um, pharmacist daughter, like I said, I don't know. I haven't looked on their website since they did the live, but they had like a bunch of fall stuff. And, um, I, I just had to force myself to stay off because pharmacist daughter is a beautiful wax. Um, I am enjoying their wax tremendously for coconut crack y'all. Yep. Okay. Next one, cinnamon coffee cake. So house coffee house, pumpkin pecan waffles, cream brulee, vanilla pound cake, and cinnamon. I love a good cinnamon coffee cake and I love it when it is ooey and gooey and super moist. I said it, don't come at me. And I love it when it's got the crumble on top and I love it when I'm sitting down in my pajamas underneath a blanket with some coffee. Okay. I get the coffee. And that cinnamon's coming through. Oh, this is so pretty. Wow. That is so pretty. So it's not heavy on the coffee. It is, it is a creamy coffee, you guys. It is a sweet sugared, more cream than coffee and more sugar than coffee, but it's there. It is, um, it's that story of a cinnamon coffee cake. That cinnamon is there, but it is not a, um, a red hot cinnamon and it's not over overly spicy cinnamon. It is, um, guys, I am, whew, it is hot. Um, it is a, um, a baked pastry with some cinnamon in it. This is stunning. This is beautiful. Oh man, I want to melt this. I'm wondering if I can get away with melting it. We might get rain on Sunday or Monday because of this hurricane. It might not be a lot, but it's going to be cloudy and it's going to be a vibe. <laughs> Excuse me. It might be too early might be too early, but I really, really want to melt this. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I really want to melt this. I'll be patient. Okay. I'll be patient. I have plenty. I have plenty. Oh my gosh. Pumpkin loaf, pumpkin chai, funnel cake, and zucchini cake. Hold on. It kind of smelled a little bit uh, 
Tisa. <laughs> um wow this is this is a pumpkin loaf it's it's like it's like that pumpkin bread earlier but it is um there's more spice to it And that cinnamon, uh, you guys, I am just so thrilled with these loaves. Um, I know they're all along the same vibes, right? Pumpkin and bakery and cinnamon and coffee and, and pumpkin pie and pumpkin peanut brittle. But it's just, there's something slightly different in all of these. And they make me so freaking happy to smell them. Like I could just sit here and never melt these and just sit and smell them and be perfectly happy. Well, no, not really. I really want to melt them. Um, that cinnamon, it's coming through more. So when I say it's more, it's more spicy, but it's not a, um, spicy. So pretty. Um, that zucchini bread, and that might be also what's giving me a little bit of that kick is that zucchini bread. I could be wrong though. I don't know. I just work here. All right. Oh, cake float. Coke, vanilla ice cream, sugar waffle cone. Oh, where's a Michael when you need one? He loves root beer floats, you guys. He might be a root beer float aficionado. Whoa. <laughs> I have a feeling Mike would be able to smell this. That is, so I'm not getting Coke float at the moment. Okay. Like I'm getting, co I'm getting like you stuck your face in the candy store in the Coke gummies. Okay. Ooh, that is what I am picking up. I'm totally, I'm here for that. I love those things. That and Swedish fish. Okay. I'm trying to see if the, um, the waffle cone and the vanilla ice cream if the Coke scent is going to allow them to come forward, this may have to sit for a while because in bakery, typically your vanilla and your waffle cones, that's going to be a little lighter. So this might have to sit till next year. It's so pretty. This is freaking fun. And I might need to order for our movie room a big bag of Coke gummies. Someone remind me of that, please. Remind me in the comments to get Coke float gummies. Pie and coffee. So this was... I really wanted something to take the place of a certain other um, red, white, and blue pie, red, white, and blue pie, and cherry and cherry vanilla, mm -hmm. something like that. So I really wanted that to take this to take the place of that, if possible. Hot apple pie, sweet and creamy espresso. Probably not going to happen. This is probably going to be much better. <laughs> I can already tell. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, what? Okay, so I was way off. I don't know what I was thinking. I just saw pie and coffee and like immediately my, that's where my brain went when I ordered this. 
I didn't look at the notes. If I had looked at the notes, I would have seen nothing like red, white, and blue pie or whatever that's called. Hot apple pie, sweet and creamy espresso. This apple is slightly not apple pie enough for me. Just slightly. I, I can still warm this. Because I guarantee you on warm, this is going to poof and come alive. And the espresso, it's, it's soft. I'm hardly getting it at the moment. So nice. Okay. So this one, um, I will probably just let sit and hang out this one i i mean if i wait till november it'll be fine so definitely pull that out at that time next one is dead don't die this is me also exploring y'all this is mac apple crackling birch marshmallow fireside cinnamon sugar donuts and pie crust well, hello, sir. Are you coming to say hello to me? Well, good morning. Hi. Okay. Well, you want to come back here? Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Hi. Oh. I had to take him for a car ride before I went out and did errands so he wouldn't, I wouldn't feel bad that he wasn't in the car with me when I went to drop my daughter off for work and then go do errands because he gets so excited to go in the car. <sighs> yeah, I'm that person. I'm that person who drives their dog around for 10, 15 minutes so he doesn't feel left out. Huh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Mac apple, crackling birch, marshmallow fighter's side. Cinnamon sugar donuts, high crust. Okay. I love red apples. And I love baked apple pie. I'm going to let this sit for a second. It is light, very, very light. I'm hardly getting any of the birch. It's there, I can smell it, but it is light. Um, I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna let this air out and sit for a second because I can't tell you exactly what I'm smelling. Okay, um, oh goodness, a nail in the coffin. <laughs> Gee, Stephanie, you guys like that. What? Death's Door. So this is pumpkin chai, zucchini bread. Hold on. Pumpkin chai, zucchini bread, Celtic moon spice, cinnamon sugar donuts. What is Celtic moon spice? Okay, well, well, my Irish ancestors would be proud. Maybe. <laughs> mm, we'll see. This is, what am I getting? Okay. This is almost it's not perfumey but it's not overly bakery you guys i don't know about these pointy nails i saw a picture and i showed mike and he said heck yeah and i said he goes the shape too and i was like i i don't really know about that shape he goes you should get that shape <sighs> i'm a i'm about to poke my eyeball out this is pretty, this almost, I feel like this almost has a slight citrus to it. 
we're this is unusual and i really like it i really like this i am I am picking up the zucchini bread. I am picking up sugar donuts and pumpkin. I don't know about the chai. Maybe that's what I'm smelling. But there's something here that I am smelling. And I can't put my finger on it. It's got to be that Celtic moon spice. That's, I have no idea what that is. Whatever it is, I want some. I want more of it. Wow, death's door. Death's door. Very nice. Very freaking awesome. I like this one. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Go back to Dead Don't Die with the Mac Apple. And the Crackling Birch and the Marshmallow Fireside. And Cream. No, Marshmallow Fireside. Cinnamon, sugar, donuts, and pythons. I just get that Mac apple right now. I'm barely, barely picking up that birch. Barely, you guys. Um, this one's going to have to sit for a while, and I'm going to keep smelling it, and then we will see. So... Voila, that was it. That's all I got. Um, please check out Pharmacist Daughter. Um, they have some great scents. Um, I know at one point I did, I did do a custom blend and it was like um, almond extract and waffle cone. Like it was just a, like my, like a basic, basic ba bakery. Um, so that was fun. I was able to do that. Um, but they've got some amazing sense. I, like I said, it, it took everything I had not to be on their live when they were going through their fall exclusive stuff. I just had to not do it. I gotta be good. Y'all, we got some trips coming up. We have Halloween Horror Nights in September. We have... Um, Universal and Disney um, after Thanksgiving. We always go for like a week. And then I want to take Mike back because we love the holidays at Disney um, for his birthday. His birthday is the 9th of January. And I want to take him back before they close down Christmas for the season. Um, so there's that. And then we're talking about maybe trying to figure out if we should do or could do or figure out how to plan doing the bourbon trail um and then in between date nights him and i going to disney just him and i without the kids we've always gone with the kids but um yeah we just bought our own passes and said date night so anyways you guys that is it thanks for hanging out with me um, I have a couple more videos to do, so you're going to see me in the same shirt. Um, and you're going to see me drinking the same stuff and you're going to see me wearing the same stuff. Perfume lights and clothes. So, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.